This video is available in English and Hindi. Namaskar. Welcome to Simplify Your Space. How are you all doing? Hope you are enjoying the rainy season. Nowadays, due to the daily rain, indoor plants are unable to receive sunlight. But today, as soon as the sun came out, I took the house plants outside for a while to expose them to sunlight. It is important to periodically place house plants outside to ensure they receive essential sunlight for their growth. If possible, always keep indoor plants near a balcony or window to receive sufficient filtered light. By doing this, you can prevent your indoor plants from deteriorating. Today, alongside this task, I also need to clean and organize my linen cupboard. I have neglected it for quite some time ever since we moved back after renovation. So today, I plan to tackle this task. Every week, I make it a point to organize at least one cupboard or perform a deep cleaning in a specific area. By focusing on one small area or deep cleaning target, the overall home remains clean and organized. This approach saves time and effort as there is no need to deep clean the entire house at once. This time, my linen cupboard has become mixed up with the items that don't belong there, such as table covers, table runners and cushion covers. Whenever you plan to clean a space, it is important to empty it out first. This allows you to remove items that don't belong and helps identify things that are no longer needed, making it easier to declutter. After removing the unnecessary items, start folding all the linen in a uniform manner and categorize them accordingly. This approach facilitates quicker organization of the cupboard and provides an overview of the quantity of items you have. The most simple and effective way to fold clothes, bed sheets, blankets or anything else is to fold them until they form a rectangular shape. It's easy. Just follow a consistent pattern for each category. Towel should also be folded into rectangular shapes. Bed sheets, towels, dohers and blankets can all be folded in the same manner. Folding fitted sheets can be a bit tricky. To fold a fitted sheet, start by holding the sheet inside out with your hands in the corners. Then tuck one corner into the other creating a pocket. Repeat this step with the remaining corners. Once all corners are tucked, lay the sheet flat on a surface and straighten the edges. Finally fold it in half or roll it tightly for storage. With practice, you'll be able to achieve a neat and compact fold for your fitted sheets. For smaller items like hand towels, cushion covers and chair covers, fold them in a way that prevents them from easily unfolding. Simply fold them in a manner where one side can be inserted into the other side, making them more compact. This fold will help maintain their organization, preventing the cupboard from becoming messy. Before arranging the cupboard, make sure to clean it thoroughly using a cleaning solution and a cloth to remove any dust or particles. I am placing shelf liners on the second shelf which is at eye level and in the drawers. However, I won't be using liners for the top and bottom shelves as items tend to fall and create a mess when pulling things out.
Now before placing everything back, decide where each item should be kept. Items needed regularly should be placed at eye level on the shelf for easy access. For example, on this shelf I am placing fitted sheets, flat bed sheets and bath towels which are used frequently. On the second bottom shelf, I will place dohers and frequently used blankets along with duvet covers and single bed sheets. On the bottom shelf, I will keep items used occasionally such as extra curtains which I have placed in a sari cover, throw blankets and extra cushions. In one of the drawers, I have arranged pillow covers at the back and hand towels in the front. The second drawer is used for fancy cushion covers which can't be folded compactly due to their design and texture. The top shelf is dedicated to winter related items like winter clothes and blankets. I have used transparent zipper boxes to store winter blankets, making them easily visible when needed. In other large zipper boxes, I have stored winter clothing for my family. Many of you have asked to prevent a closet from becoming messy, especially when it is used by other family members or arranged by house help. The most effective and simple solution is to label everything. Labeling not only helps identify the correct items, particularly when items are stacked and it's difficult to determine each pile's contents, but it also ensures that items are put back in their designated places after use. Any closet or drawer or any space can be organized without using baskets and organizers as long as you neatly stack items and are careful when removing them. My linen cupboard is now ready. I have removed some bed sheets that I no longer use which will be donated soon. I have set aside a few items that need to go into the living room drawer, such as frequently used cushion covers, dining table covers and a couple of throw blankets. I prefer keeping them in the living room for easy access since they are used frequently. When items are properly stored and placed where they can be easily accessed, organization is maintained. Having designated places for each item and keeping them clean and organized makes daily decision making faster and easier. This practice will always keep your home beautiful and tidy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you and see you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.